These cosmic coasters are so dreamy and pretty to look at and functional. Um, they're heat resistant with a special glaze that I add, so I want to take you on this journey. You can definitely create this in a weekend, no problem. And it's quite simple. The most important thing that you grab is some kind of sealant. I'm going to use triple thick Brilliant Brush on Glass Glaze or a resin would also work. Look at how dreamy they are. Let me show you how to get this look. Okay, uh, these are the basic supplies you're going to need. A basic 4 inch ceramic tile, totally clean. And um, you're going to want uh, your glaze. We'll use that later. And a brush or a disposable film brush will work to apply. And we're going to use alcohol blending solution. That is key for the overall look. And this tool, this is a blower tool. It helps move the alcohol ink around. And then you need alcohol ink. And you can choose whatever kind you like, whatever brand you want. You can even just do a single color. I am going to do th about three colors. Um, and I'm choosing to use pearls. And those have a little mixing bead in them, which means I just need to shake them up before I use them. But you can use any kind. You do not. You can use original, regular alcohol ink too. So the first thing to do is put a float of blending solution. You saw me squeeze that larger bottle on top of just a clear solution. And that's important for this particular look. And then I'm shaking up the pearl alcohol inks and just dripping on a few colors. These alcohol ink bottles have a little eyedropper type top. So you can just squeeze out. You have control over that. You can just squeeze out a little drop at a time. So I'm putting a few colors on, and they are floating over top of that clear blending solution. And look at how the color moves all by itself. But now I'm going to use that blending, or I'm sorry, that blower tool to puff air, and it moves the color around. I can blend them into each other. And I love the very edges, how the color gets really soft and dreamy-like. So I'm just squeezing the the bulbous part of this to this um, air blower, and as I let go, it pushes it pushes the air, and then you can add more colors if you like. I just love playing with alcohol ink. You can you can never make the same thing twice. It's so fun to watch the colors change and move. Now notice this time I it's not moving as much or blending as much. So that's because my alcohol blending solution had already dried. So I'm just going to put on a couple more drops of that, and it sort of reactivates the color and allows it to move again. I love how when these colors meet, I'm getting that really pretty, almost navy blue color. And I'm making sure to move the blower around from all sides to get, uh, so you can push the color from every direction. Oh my gosh, that blue color is so pretty. Okay, and you just, and you see I'm doing short, quick bursts of air, but you can also do slow squeezes, and you, and then also from different directions, and it gives you a different look each time. It's also safer to use the blower tool, because you're not getting your, you're not getting your mouth and nose near the, um, tile itself because the alcohol, I mean, there are fumes involved here, there's chemicals, you don't really want to be smelling this. And if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, you're going to want to do this in a ventilated area. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat the process. I've put on a float of the blending solution, and now this time instead of dripping on, I'm sort of uh, moving my hand back and forth as I squeeze the bottle to add the alcohol ink. So let's try moving the color around with the blower with just one color. Oh, see right there? How I got that soft diffusion of color. Oh, and right down there. That soft diffusion of color. I really like how dreamy that looks. Uh, that's just a personal preference. You get to, this is your project, and you get to make it look however you want. See, see how I'm adding the color a different method this time? Sort of moving the bottle as I squeeze it. Sort of getting like these little strips of color. And now I'm sort of blowing after each addition of color. I love the, look at how the purple and the blue are meeting and getting that different look. Now this color is a gold mixative and it has actually metallic mixed into it. And actually in person it's very pretty and sparkly. I liked that. But of the two different looks, I kind of like the dreamier one without the metallic. So at this point I really wasn't sure which direction I was going to go. 
Um, so I'm just going to set it aside and move forward. And the great thing is when working with alcohol ink on a porous surface or on a non-porous surface like I am here with the ceramic tile is that you get to change your mind if you don't like something and I'm and I do change my mind on a couple of these and I will show you how to deal with that it's actually really easy um, so here you saw me just sort of squeeze them across and now with the blue I just kind of um, did a little shake to get lots of little blue droplets and here I'm doing a slow squeeze so I get a longer puff of air. Isn't that cool? So a very different look. So even if I were to stop right now, is look at my three tiles. They're totally different looking. So this is a really great mo This is a great time in this project to sort of be experimenting and deciding which look you're liking. And actually, now that I'm watching this, um, I really like it right where it's at right now. <laughs> um, but in the moment, you, it's so fun, you can't help but keep playing. <laughs> so here I add some more blue. See, I'm doing it sort of in a, in a strip like that. Uh, it's almost like a comet. That's what it looks like to me. So cool. I just love watching the colors move. As you add a color on top of a color, it, the, new one, the new color that you, that you introduce always wants to make room for itself by pushing out the other colors. It's so unique compared to like using painter or a different kind of ink. Alcohol ink is a, is a unique kind of um, media that is it's just amazing to play with. And, and like I say, it's so fun. So you can achieve looks like this on anything that is um, a non-porous surface. So glass, plastic, ceramic, that kind of thing. You can also use alcohol ink to dye. Um, so you can dye sand and glitter, um, wax candles, uh, resin. So take a close look at this one. Look at how my color sort of separated into these little speckles. The reason that happened is I was using the alcohol pearl and I didn't mix it for that one. I didn't shake up the bottle well enough. And so the little mica kind of broke apart and I didn't like that. So I, to clean it, my mistake, or to start over, I just squeezed some of that blending solution, the first thing I used, over top and wipe it away. So that's how you get a free little do-over. And now I squeeze some more on top and now I'm shaking up the bottle really well and starting fresh. So this time I'm putting a whole bunch of blue on <laughs> and shake up the bottle really well. You only really need to shake the alcoholic bottles that have a mica or pearl. So things like the Alchemy, the Mixatives, and the Pearl um, brands of alcoholic are the ones that you're going to have to shake. Uh, regular alcoholic that doesn't have any kind of mica in it, you don't even have to shake at all but it won't hurt if you do. Oh, this color combo was really pretty before I put the pink in, a very pretty color. I think it was, I think blue, purple, and green would be gorgeous as well. Look at the, oh, I just love how the, the, the edges uh, were the, the contrast between the soft diffused color at the, at the edge and then the darker lines where the colors meet, very pretty. So when the color gets a little bit dry and it's not moving with my blower, I add a little blending solution and voila, see, now it can move. And you, and you get to keep changing it. It's totally your own unique design. This would make this set of coasters uh, is great. You can um, customize it to be the colors of your decor or with whatever aesthetic that you're going for. You can um, make, it a set, uh, make a set as a gift. Um, and match somebody else's, you know, if you know their favorite colors or the colors of their home, you know, um, really, really fun. So I've decided I like the two without the, the metallic in them. So I'm going to take, I'm just going to do over the two that I put metallic on. So simply a paper towel and blending solution to clean it up and start fresh. And I'm just going to speed it up here so you can see the process. So fun. I just, I, this is the, the most fun project I've done in a long time where it's just, I think I just love watching the colors blend and move and it really doesn't take any skill. Um, anybody can do that. Anybody. And this would be a fun family project and each, and you know, if you have a family of four, each of you could make your, and design your own coaster. That would be a lot of fun. So let's remake this one too.
look at how look at the soft dreamy colors this is why I end up calling this one um, I named this the cosmic coaster set um, because of how dreamy and diffuse the colors are. Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be pretty to do like shades of, of teal and blue and green and sort of do an underwater look? Um, you could even get bubble by put bubbles, like clear little bubbles with outlined rims. Uh, the technique for doing that would be to put some of that blending solution into a squirt bottle and squirt it on and you would get these little bubble-like creations on top. Okay, so here's my four coasters with the color on them. And um, I'm going to use some triple thick now. I'm going to put it on with a paint brush, but you could use a um, disposable film brush. And I do want metallic, so I'm going to add gold leafing. And I'm going to do that in the same step here. So I'm going to shake up my triple thick glaze and pour on just a little bit in the center of one of the tiles. And I'm going to use my brush and gently move that um, solution around. It comes out kind of um, creamy looking, but it will dry totally clear. And I'm just going to put a nice thin coat over the whole entire tile. I say thin, but the product itself is actually really thick. Um, but I just mean you don't want to put too much on your tile because it is self-leveling and it's just going to squeeze out over the edges. And then for the gold leafing, um, once I have a first little layer of um, the triple thick gloss on there, my I can just kind of set down a few pieces of gold leaf and it just they just kind of want to settle into that wet, thick glaze. Then I'm going to use a glaze that's still on my brush and kind of tap that down so that I'm sort of setting the gold leaf in place. And then very, very lightly, I'm going to go over the top with the still wet paintbrush. Um, to just kind of get that glaze over the top. This way I know that I have my gold leaf sort of sandwiched between the glaze. We'll actually go back over the top and glaze this a few more times. This is just the first layer where I add the gold leafing. Now notice that I am doing this on a, um, a mat. This is a glass mat, a glass mat that I'll be able to clean up later. If you do not have a glass mat, I suggest that for this step you do this over like um, a paper bag or some paper that you can throw away because the gloss, the glass um, uh, finish here, the this, this sealant is, is really thick and sticky and it dries very hard and it can be hard to get off of surfaces. So you want to protect your surface. In fact, what I would do is elevate your coasters, put them, put each coaster on top of a disposable cup or something like that and then put the glaze over the top. That way and if any drips occur, um, it won't be stuck to the paper. Um, the coaster won't be stuck to the paper. So now I'm moving a oh, closer look. You can see the, the gold foil going down. Um, and you can add a little bit more glaze to your brush or your foam brush to help tap that down. And that's what I'm going to do here. There, you see, just kind of tapping it down and getting it into place because it, it is the gold leafing is going to want to kind of shift and move on you a little bit. There we go. So, just a nice light glaze over the top and then brush everything into place as best you can. You will kind of see some brush strokes as you go, but it will dry, it, it dries flat, it will self level. So, let's go ahead and repeat that process with your remaining tiles. I end up liking the big chunky bits of gold foil better, but on my last tile, I do experiment and try to do a lot of little tiny flecks. Okay, and for the last tile, we're going to put on a squirt of the glaze, brush it across, and then the foil, to make to get it tiny, I kind of rub it between my fingers and let it fall and just let the brush move it around. I do like, I mean, it's kind of a nuggety kind of look, and I mean, I do like it, but in the end, 
if I could do it over, I would just do bigger chunks instead of all the little ones. Now you can kind of see some brush strokes in there because it's, it's very, very wet, but we'll let it dry, let it set up eight hours or overnight, and then repeat adding the layers. You're no more gold foil. Now just brush on after the first eight hours, add another layer. And I actually end up doing that twice. So you could definitely do this in a weekend. So I have a total of three coats. And then for the backing, I'm going to use some cork that you can cut easily with scissors. And I could just cut it like a quarter inch um, smaller than the, than the dimensions of the tile. Okay, and then I use the A6000 Super Strong Glue to add the cork to the back of the tile. And then I just let them sit with the cork side down overnight to completely dry the, the adhesive. And that's it. That is my set of four dreamy cosmic coasters. So fun to make. Makes a great gift as well. And um, because of that glaze, they are going to be totally fine to use as, you know, a coaster. I can put cold or hot drinks on them. They're easy to wipe off and clean. And um, that resin really gives you that, pr that protection that you need. And the cork then protects your tabletop surface. It makes it easy to stack them on top of each other, too, if you wish. I think that this would make a, a wonderful um, gift, and it certainly is so much fun to play with. And if you choose to keep them for yourself, um, they're really great conversation starters. <laughs> so you can put hot drinks like tea or coffee on them or your cold drinks as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that I've inspired you to create some coasters and play with alcohol ink.